Galloway's support through sight loss. Okay, hello everyone, it's uh, Andrew here from Galloway's and this morning I am uh, I'm with a colleague from uh, a company called Optelec and this is Mark Silva. Good morning Mark. Hi there, hi everybody. And this morning we're going to be talking about low vision technology and the benefits of using low vision technology and we're going to take you through some of the products that are available that you can also come and try at Galloway's as well. And, uh, and Mark, it's, it's important that people know about the different products and, and the different equipment that's out there that can help people with low vision, especially when you know the basics of magnification sometimes doesn't kind of provide enough support for people. Absolutely, I mean, um, when people get their first magnifier, usually going through, obviously through the low vision clinic, getting a, a free on loan magnifier, that's one particular magnification that's suitable for them after the assessment. So that might be a five or a six or a seven times magnification, but it is a single magnification. So you can't, if you're looking at some bigger print, it might be too much magnification, looking at some small print, it might be not quite enough magnification. It's just that one set magnification. And the other thing about the magnifier is, as you increase the magnification, as you know, the size of the lens gets smaller. Yeah. And that's just down to the physics of how much uh, magnification you can get. It's one of the things that actually a lot of people will come to Galloway's and say, have you got anything bigger? And of course, we haven't, because mm. that's, the, that's the size of the magnification that's been recommended for somebody. And then that's where we think about recommending that somebody looks at electronic technology because then the world is kind of your oyster, isn't it? It is. It, the, the benefits of the electronic magnifier is, number one, you can get a range of magnification. So it's not just the five or six, it's somewhere between two or three up to ten or eleven or even greater magnification, which you can vary yourself. But also, with an uh, electronic magnifier, you don't have the same problem of getting close up to the lens because when you have a lens magnifier that has a specific a focal length so that means you have to hold it a certain distance to your eye and a certain distance from the print itself which is to do with the physics of the lens again and the stronger they get the shorter that uh, focal length gets so with a very high magnification you're having to use it very very close and beyond six times that means actually you're going to have to use it with one eye but with electronic magnifiers, that's not a restriction. It's that the, the, the uh, magnification doesn't work like that. So you can use it with the various different magnifications at, and you're not restricted to getting right up close to it. Yeah. And the range of equipment and technology that's out there, and, and, and certainly from, from Optelec and, and the other brands that you represent as well. I mean, there's, there's so much. There's, there's always going to be something that suits... You know, Absolutely. the individual, isn't there? Yeah, well, just a little bit of background on Optel uh, Optelec is that we have recently uh, joined with Enhanced Vision, which is the other major player in the UK of electronic magnification. And we also have uh, another company, Freedom Scientific, which we joined with before. So we have a, a large portfolio of uh, electronic equipment, big range of, uh, of, of things from the small portals, which we're going to look at at the moment, to to larger uh, electronic magnifiers and text-to-speech systems. It's going to be something for everybody. So what we're going to do, we're going to take a look, we're going to take a closer look at some of the, uh, of some of the equipment and do a, a demonstration for you. So let's get going. Okay. Okay, so uh, the first ones we're going to look at here are the, the smallest portable ones, which are around about the 4.3 inch uh, diagonal. They all measure diagonal, just like on televisions at your home. Uh, 4.3 4 inch across the size there it gives you much bigger area than you would get with anything greater than about a three times optical magnifier so you're looking at a much bigger area of text but this particular one is the compact plus HD just press the button there to turn it on and when you pop it on the text you get the image coming up larger up on the screen there you've got a plus and a minus on the side there to increase the magnification but it means you can carry that around with you. You've got a larger area. This particular one has a handle with it, and you can move it over the text there, or you can have the handle closed in. And the, all, the, all the ones at this size have that sort of handle as well. You can change the contrast. So first of all, it's 
making increasing the contrast, making it a much brighter image than the standard uh, colour setting. If I press the button on the left hand side, we've got a negative as well on there. So that means you have less white coming at you, much better if you've got a glare problem. Uh, and there's uh, several other different colour settings you can have on there. This particular is uh, black on yellow, but there's about 16 or so different colours with each of them that you can change to for your preferred colour option. Some people like a preferred colour option, some people don't, but it's giving you that option of, uh, of where you're looking at a standard bit of text that looks very mushy or is not the right uh, contrast for you, and you can change that directly by just putting it over the top of it there. There is also a button with all of these on this particular one, it's on the top right here, which is a freeze frame. So say you're in a shop, you're looking over at a price, which is right down low, you can press the button on the side there, it stays on the screen, you can magnify that up further and bring it up close to have a look at. One quick press and you're back to the normal magnifier again. So you have the ability to magnify, to enhance the contrast, to reverse the contrast to make it mainly a dark image on there, and to freeze frame. Okay, so this is the Compact Plus HD again. We have the screen just sitting down on top of whatever you want to look at. You've got the, uh, the on-off button at the top left there. Just press it down, tells you the battery charge. This is a little bit low on this one. We've got it on uh, a negative, white on black. But with these two buttons at the bottom right here, we can increase that magnification or we can decrease that magnification and get more or less on the screen. Then it's a case of moving over to the beginning of the line and running it along the line to have a look at whatever you want to see. When you get to the end of that line, it's over there, bring it back again across the same line and down to the next line to come across. There's also the button on the bottom left here which we can change to get different colour setting on there, through all those there on the right and on the top right hand side we have that freeze frame button where you can bring it up onto the screen, move it around if you want to. Press it again and you're back to looking at the normal text. With this one we have a handle which comes out at the back here and you can hold it to read across the line like that. Swing that back in again and it's actually just at a slight angle up towards you as you're reading the text on the screen there. This particular one goes from approximately 3 to 10 times magnification. So this is the uh, example of the 7 inch screen, so we've gone up quite a big in screen size. This particular one has a stand at the back and if I close that together that turns it off and it's easy for carrying around. If I open it up at the back then it comes on. The image on the screen here is uh, yellow on blue. We have a plus or minus on the right hand side. If I press the plus down we can increase that magnification and the minus obviously decreases the magnification. On the left hand side there's two arrows here. They both do the same thing but they both change the colour enhancement. One goes through the settings one way and the top one goes through it the other way. So you can just go through your different options on the screen there. We can choose not from normal colour to any of the enhanced options and you can change those options with the system as well. Top right we have the same sort of freeze button we had before, we've frozen the image on the screen and if I press it again we go back to the, the view, the live view. With this Ruby uh, 7 HD we have a couple of other options, so on the side here we have an HDMI output, that will means whatever's on the screen can go up onto a television, uh, so the image on here is magnified up onto the, whatever size your screen is. And if I go to the normal colour setting on here, this top black area is actually the camera. So I can move that camera out and we can have a look at distance up on the screen there. So I'm going to go, just go to normal colour and we're now looking up at the banner up on the top there. That is looking straight ahead of us and we can even bring it round to work as a mirror as well. I'll angle that back down here. But it does mean if you turn it to the side, you have got quite a big area to write underneath here when you're using it. So it's a much bigger screen area, 7 inch screen, and it has those other features on. This is a Ruby 7 HD. Okay, so this is the Traveller. We've jumped up now to just over 13 inch screen. Again, measure diagonally across here. And we're looking at the same piece of 
uh, material we were looking at before, but we roll it over the top of that and it comes up much larger up on the screen. We've got it in normal color at the moment with the blue and the uh, normal size writing. With a button on the left hand side, if I press that down, we go to enhance the image again, strong black on white. And there's again, is several other options by pressing this same button on the left hand side. So we can go to a, a negative, there's a yellow on black, and there's a, a blue on yellow, normal color. And we'll stop at the black on white, which is the most popular color setting that people generally prefer. On the right hand side, we have a wheel that's set into the uh, side of it. And if I turn that, we can go, we can increase the magnification or we can turn it down to decrease the magnification. But the unique part of the traveler is we can move the, t the whole of the screen and the buttons along to the right to read along the line and come back to the beginning of the line. So we have that left to right movement that's very easy without physically moving the magnifier. And then there's a roller along the front here. We can push that back to go to the top of the uh, document and gradually read along the lines and come down to the bottom of the document. So very easy to read across the print. When you finish reading, you push it out of the way, get your new piece of document, put it down and roll back over that. It comes up on the screen. You also have, uh, as before, a freeze frame button here. So say it's so someone's telephone number or something you want to freeze it on the screen. You can also save that in in the Traveller as well. Press it again to go back to normal viewing. You have a line marker, if I press the bottom left hand here, where we have a false line on the screen that helps you keep along a line here. Move down to the next line and it highlights that particular line for you. Press it once to turn that off. And then there's a menu button at the top to change your settings, i.e. you can have different colors or turn, turn different enhanced settings off if you want to. So when you've finished using the Traveller, all you do is with the roller on here, you press either end of the roller in, the screen drops down and you push it down until it clicks into place and that turns it off and then you're ready to transport it. Okay, so this is, uh, we've gone dramatically up in size here to the DaVinci Pro. So it's a 24 inch screen, again, measured diagonally on here. We have the same bit of writing that we've been using throughout the demonstration comes up onto the screen. So you're seeing a much bigger area of print at a higher magnification. There's some three controls along the front here. On the right hand side we have the on off button. In the middle is the main control, we just turn it for the magnification. Zoom 12, zoom 11. Which it announces on the, on the screen there. And then the far left is just the contrast again, so we can make it black on white. High contrast black and white, and there's a number of other color settings as with the other products. So, with this one, we can move it across freehand, left to right, up and down. We also have a, a small table that helps you move it left to right, or what they call an XY table on here. And there is also a remote control here, and I'll show you what that is in just a second. For your most uses, it's just going to be these buttons on the top here for magnification, etc. And it's, well, this is being filmed by a camera that's built into the top of it here. So this camera is looking down onto the text down here. So this leaves you a lot of room to write underneath there, or if I put it back to normal color, I'll go through the color options here. We have a negative. Green on black, green. yellow on black. Uh, yellow on blue, black and white. All right, so that's on the normal color. color there. So you can see my hand coming up in normal color. So you could be painting or drawing or something underneath there. But this camera, you can also angle it back towards you. So I put it back towards so. me. So it can act as a mirror on there as well. And you can angle it at distance. Desktop. So I've angled the camera at distance there. Far. And we're looking up at the, the board, up at the back there, but you can look out in the garden, a bird table, etc., on there or around the room. Just put that lens on for close vision. Desktop. Now, that's coming up on the screen there. Now the DaVinci Pro is the top of the range of this type of system. And if I press the center of the button that does the magnification. OCR mode, it goes please to, align your document inside the frame. It's the OCR mode, so we have to put the piece of text in the center there. And then this is where this separate pad comes in. If I press the big round button at the top there, 
processing, processing the document and it will read Silver it Silver line friends, for those wanting more personalised one-to-one -one contact, we also are... And I've just paused it with one of the buttons on that remote control. So you can pause the document, you can still magnify it up when, it's, when you've taken that image of it and if you carry on reading for telephone and letter writing yeah, friendship the text services on the which are there. free to both the silver liner and volunteer the silver pillar. so it's reading out the whole text you if there's columns it will work out each individual column run down the column move to the next column read the whole of the document the only thing about this system and with the other systems you can get it does not do handwriting so it is uh, documents letters in the post magazines uh, newspapers pop them underneath and it will read it out to you when you finish with the text-to-speech reading, press the centre button and you're back to live the, mode. the live mode magnifier. So, we move on now to a completely different type of aid for visually impaired people. And this is a text-to-speech system, so there's no screen involved, no magnification involved. Uh, and indeed, we supply these to people who have no sight, no useful sight at all. But also, together with that for someone who finds it very difficult to read it gets very tired very quickly or just wants an easy way to read a large piece of text then these are an excellent way of doing it they're very simple to use uh, they just use a couple of buttons and they can actually read out the text to you when you put something underneath it so this is the smart reader uh, it's got a nice big handle it's very portable this is uh, um, will last for eight hours on the battery or you can have it plugged into mains power and that's how it charges when you plug it back into mains power on there. You have a single arm down the front here and if I press that in at the bottom that pops up and that also turns it on so there will be a beeping for a few seconds as it starts up. Okay so when the arm is up you're ready to scan you put the document you want to read up in front of it I've got a smaller sheet here, but it will do an A4 size. And then you have two buttons on the top here, ridged red buttons. Press one of those down. It'll take a picture, which is just done. And then it will read out to you. Processing. Silverline friends. For those wanting more personalized. To pause it. One to one contact. We so I've just pressed the pause button, which is in the middle there. That's pause and play. If I press again, it will carry on reading. Also offer telephone and letter writing friendship services. You also have on the left and right hand side, a couple of wheels. On the left hand side, it's the volume. Volumes, volume five, volume seven. And on the right hand side, it's how fast it reads out to you. OCR speed three, OCR speed four. OCR speed to and pause and play in the center backwards on the left hand side forwards on the right hand side when you've finished using the machine just push the arm down again until it clicks into place powering down and it turns off thanks so much Mark for coming in and, and showing us all this technology today it's absolutely fantastic um, the solutions that are out there that can support people that are affected by sight loss and, and if you'd like to find out more information about this type of equipment you can contact us here at Galloway's and Mark is able to come in and demonstrate some of, you know, some of these products or we can actually get a hold of these products on demonstration as well for you to come and try. We do uh, run lots of events throughout the year as well uh, where Mark does come in um, with all this technology so you can come and look at it in, in one go but it's really finding solutions for you guys finding what works for you and if you need to come in and try it individually we you know we can do that as well so if you'd like to find out more uh, you can contact Galloway's on 01772 744 148 and you can also visit our website which is www.galloways.org.uk Okay. Is there anything you'd like to finish off with? No, now? just say thank you. Thank you very much for inviting us in today. It's been a really good, really good opportunity to show the equipment. Brilliant. Now, don't forget, guys, to like and subscribe to the video on YouTube. And if you check out all the comments below, there'll be more information about the products.
that we've uh, that we've been talking about today. Okay, I'll see you soon. Thank you. Thanks. Galloway's support through sight loss.